at Art Club. I'm one minute early. Oh no, there we go, like eight o'clock now. <sighs> this week is stick week. I have got two sticks, one very long, one normal stick length, I would imagine. What sticks have you got? What are you drawing with? What are you drawing on? There's Emma, hello. Ruby White Lino, Jasmine. Alison's here, hello Alison. Sarah Strachan, hiya, hiya, hiya. It's Jill as well, so many friendly faces, oh my goodness. So I'm in my living room again. Um, we're having renovation stuff done so it's empty. I don't normally have a living room with no furniture in it. <laughs> yes, Helen! Hello, Helen. There's Kate Beavis, 8358. Hello, Kate. Hazel Twigs, ooh, nice. Hello! Hello! How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good. Very good. Let's see your sticks, Helen. Sticks, 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 sticks. Oh, look at that. You got good. I've got two. I've got one enormous one. Ooh. And one normal size. Yeah. What are you dipping them in? I have got ink. I do have some water that I might add paint to as well, but I'm just uh, staying inky to start with, I think. What yeah, about you? I've got ink stuck to a bit of cardboard so I don't knock it over. Amazing. Yeah. I've also got a paint stick, which is not a stick, I know. But I'm Controversial. I might want to do some colour and I haven't got out my colour ink. So this is like an emergency backup. That's a very good idea. Yes, I've got I put a little bit of water in a cup and I thought if I feel like it I can just squidge some paint in and mix it and then it'll be Yeah good ready. Morning. Hey everybody's here. There's Jane Sunbeam. Yeah, so lots of friendly faces hey. when I was getting ready. Yeah. The whole gang. Oh, there's Tanya. Tanya. Hello, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. So hey. let us know if this is your first ever art club, because I think there might be some newbies here. Claire's right. You are a genius, Helen, for sticking you know, I think that's going to make me millions. I, I should copyright that. You should I used be sure to always spill club. my ink. If I'd finished an illustration, I used to very often, because the pot's taller than it is wide, I would knock it over. So, yeah, genius invention. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Mind blowing. Hey, Jerry's here with my cup of tea oh, and my peanut fleeps. That's pure romance mm. right there. It was a bigger pill. Have you been eating them on the way? <gasps> That's his commission for bringing them up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, 25%. <laughs> Somebody was asking how my living room is there. It's still not dry, so it's still just an empty living room with a dehumidifier running. Uh, how long will that take? Do you know? We we'll think one more week, but who knows? Yeah. yeah. Very boring. Uh, but tonight's an so extra an special extra... art club, isn't it? It is. It's a really exciting one because not only are we drawing with sticks, but we're launching the course again tonight. So we have a course called Find Your Creative Voice, which is all about learning what your creative voice is, like what what is you, what is your real work. And uh, we're launching tonight, aren't we? In fact, other times when we've launched, we've waited till the end of Art Club before we press the launch button, but actually we've pressed it before we've started. So you can join the course at any time while we're live at Art Club. Yeah. Eight people have signed up already and we didn't even tell you about it. So really? <laughs> you're all sneaky. Yeah, people have, I, was, I just checked before and I was like, what? How oh, many I just people? Had to look, I didn't notice there were already eight people. I saw one or two, eight people. Yeah, wow. madness. Super so fast. well done, sneaky people finding hey. the links and everything. <laughs> that's yeah. so cool. <laughs> Magic. Oh, that's so good. Well, last night we, if you if you um join the course over the weekend, people are then considered an early bird, aren't they, Katie? And mm -hmm. if you're an early bird, you get a special VIP draw along. And we did one last night, didn't we, for the last round of people. It was brilliant, wasn't it? It was really good fun. It's always so nice. It's a bit like an end of term party at school, you know, when everyone's like in their own clothes and you play games. <laughs> it's a little yeah. bit like that. And also because we've been with these people for like, like we've all been together in the course for six weeks. So we're like, it feels like, you know, everyone that's really nice. Yeah, it's so lovely. And we get to see their work at that Zoom call. So it's a bit like art club, but we can see what they're doing as well. We can all hold it up and show each other. So yeah, if you book on this weekend, you're an early bird and you'll get the extra Zoom call. Well, there's Yee -hee. bonfires. We just saw you sign up. It's Adele, isn't it? Hello, Adele. Hey. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some paint in my water. I've decided. 
Good thinking. I've got my blue collar. There was um, somebody at the early bird last night in the comments saying that they'd got into art school after doing the good ship course. They'd got their folio together and got into art school to do... Was it cartoon it, um, studies or something? Cartoon studies, which I think must be a bit like, um, we call it se sequential... The word's gone out of my head again. <laughs> se sequential drawing? What's the name of something the course like where you learn like, graphic novels and... Oh, sequential image. Image. How can I forget the word image? Image. <laughs> a mere <laughs> detail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as far as we know, I mean, there might be lots of people who haven't told us about it, but we've got at least two people who've got into art school after doing the Good Ship course, aren't there? Yeah. And it's yeah. like, because you're making all this new work, you've basically got a portfolio yeah. that you can share. But there are loads of people who've been to art school. They've even been to art school and done a BA and an MA and then joined the Good Ship. So it doesn't, you don't have to be new to art. You, it's finding your own voice, is it? It's for any time, isn't it? Yeah, it's an ongoing thing. I yeah. feel like I say this all the time, but it's like onion and you peel layers back and you find new ways of working and dig deeper into your own yeah. ways of working. Yeah. It was in Vermont. Sequential illustration. Tanya's got a good memory. Ah, brilliant. Yeah. In Vermont. That's a good topic. Oh, amazing. Oh, good. Stu's is an early bird. Woohoo! We'll see you. It yeah. usually happens at the end of the course. So if you've joined now, don't panic. You're not going to miss it. It happens like way after the course is finished. Yeah. Then we know everybody then. Happens. It's more fun then, isn't it? Because we all know who each other are. Because we, we have a, um, a, commu a Facebook page, like a closed members Facebook page. We've got a really nice community in there. So while you're on the course, any work you do, you can pop it in there. You don't have to, but you can. And so we get familiar who everybody is and what they're up to, don't we? Yeah, and people, if you've got questions, everyone's so helpful and lovely in there. So it's brilliant. Yeah. It's like having a giant studio of yeah. really friendly creators that you can chat to. Yeah. Anyway, should we get drawing? You just do it. Okay. I'm going to use the giant stick first. I'm feeling adventurous. Yeah. I might I even need to stand up to use it, you know. You might have to stand up. Yeah, it's so big. <laughs> Right, okay, I need to get them in my wing. Uh, what should we do? Should we do a one minute? Yeah, let's do a fast one to warm up, shall we? Okay, are you ready? Put you down so you can see stick action. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, go, we're off. We're off. Oh. One minute. <laughs> so we're drawing, we're drawing um, sticks dipped in ink uh, or, or paint and you can draw whatever's in front of you. We've only got one rule at Art Club and that is it's not from your head, it's something in front of you. Yeah, it's got to be real. No unicorns. <laughs> Unless you have unicorns in your house, which you might do. They might. Oh, we're Sorry. halfway through the time already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I really need this tonight. I've spent a lot of time on my iPad doing editing stuff today, so it's so nice to actually get out some drawing materials. Yes. That's always so good to get off the screens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am going to write one minute in the corner because I always have a pile of drawings where I don't remember how long it took. <laughs> like, who did this? Who possessed me? Yeah. One I'm minute the same. stick. I'll remember oh. then. One. Mine's really, really drippy. I think it's all going to run down the paper if I try and hold it up. There we are. Yeah, mine too. I don't think I can hold mine up. But, oh, what oh, are I you can... drawing, Katie? What is I'm that? drawing a pair of slippers. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, I like you got a horse and a teacup. A horse and a cup. Nice. It's my cup, my cup that broke and I fixed it with a bit of Sugru plaster. Oh, look at that. The whole handle of Sugru. Yeah, and my, and my horse, who's been to art club many, many times. Oh, yeah, he's a regular. He yeah. These are my slippers. I don't know if you've seen these before. <laughs> An exclusive peek. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing intimate details of my life. I'm going to because mine are virtually the same as yours, except mine are filthy. Ooh, nice. <laughs> They're not very nice. They were <laughs> nice. But it doesn't take long for slippers to look absolutely disgusting, does it? It's so true. I got these for Christmas and they're already 
grey and me. And, I end know. up wearing them outside though, do you? Yeah. And I forget and then I get halfway through the garden and I'm like, uh oh. Yeah, <laughs> These are slippers. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. No shoe is sacred. <laughs> Jill is in love with her stick. I think I'm in love Hooray. with my stick as well, you know. It's, look, at, look at the end. So wonky. What did you say? Do you like my stick? Ooh! <laughs> it's got a double end. Yeah, it's, um, it's got like a claw. Did it come out with double lines in your drawing? No, because I just used the, the very tip. Somebody said they'd given up with the stick, but it's brilliant with watered down ink. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got a purse of Has your stick got moss on it? Uh, some of them. Actually, mine are mostly ones that Peggy found on the beach. So they're sort of yes. driftwoody sticks. That's cool. Cameron started cleaning the moss off mine and I was like, no, 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 leave them. <laughs> they need to be dirty. <laughs> You're not allowed to tamper with them. No, no whittling, no cleaning moss off. Do you remember that? That was quite, quite dramatic that week, wasn't it? So we did one week where we whittled our sticks so they were pointy, didn't we? And then yeah. in that intervening week, Jerry said to me, "What? you don't tamper with your sticks. It's a the no, no. The universe finds your stick and you take it as it comes and that is it. Lumps and all. <laughs> Nobody believe it. So, yeah, exactly. So next week was hardcore stick week, wasn't it? Yeah. This is a really, really pretty one that I found on the beach. Look at that. Wow. It's like a giraffe. Is that just a natural pattern on it? Yeah. That's a super rare stick. Yeah. <laughs> Alison said my it looks like a thumbs up. It does. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I can use it on Zoom calls. I approve. <laughs> I'll bring this to the next Zoom. <laughs> He's got a favourite stick too. I think that's quite common practice. And about Tempest's thing. husband is drawing with us, but he's refusing to use a stick. That's I'm afraid not that's not allowed. No. Should we put him in drawing prison? Yeah. Sort Call the out. drawing police. Mm. Get him mm. Step one of becoming an artist, get slippers. Step two, find stick. Step three, paint with stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shall I set the timer again? Yeah. Let's see if I've got... Okay. Oh, Lois Godding has just signed up. Hello, Lois. Oh, yeah, so she did. Did you hear my phone go beep beep? Bing! Ta da! <laughs> yes, it's a noise. Well, that's welcome, nice. Welcome. If anybody joins, we're going to hear them joining with a little ta da! Oh, my phone says, really long pickup detected. Are you sure you want to be on your phone right now? Yes, I'm sure. Mm. It's to stop me being on my phone too much. It doesn't work, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm going to set the timer and I'm going to do a little bit of colour and then go for the stick ooh good idea are you, are you ready? I'm uh, ready go. go get my slipper out again I'm going out. I, I don't know how to use resist. my huh? I'm just trying to figure out how to use my ink because I haven't got anything to put it in and I don't want to dip a stick into my ink jar why not? Is it too mossy? Will it leave bits in your ink? Yeah, it's like crumbly bits everywhere. Uh, but in the next break, I'll go and I'll grab a plate or something. Mm -hmm. Or a cup. What were you going to say, sorry? I don't know now. I can't remember. Oh, oh no. just that this cup is such a really lovely bright yellow that I can't resist using a bit of yellow in the drawing. Just Love a good colour. yellow cup. Uh, oh no, I've kind of made a bit of a hash. Oh, no. a bit, um... Ooh, this, this stick is uncontrollable. It, and then it, so you think you made a hash and then it turns out not to be sometimes, so I will hold off my judgement. Yep, persevere. Yep. My dinner tonight was a disaster. Why? What, what happened? I burnt, like, I'm normally, I never burn anything. Yeah. But tonight, I burned the chicken, and I burned the rice, and, what? yeah, I was like, what is actually going on? It was edible, but it was burned. You were too excited about the course doors opening. I think that's what it was, like, my brain had just gone. Yeah. <laughs> was it so 
badly burnt that you actually couldn't eat it? Um, it was edible, but I'm very unfussy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a mere mortal might have rejected it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, mmm, black bits, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Cameron said he'll cook tomorrow. Oh, time's up. Two. Oh, we're ready. That's it. Time's up. Ooh. That was good fun. Oh, well, that's good. Tanya's helping people. Yeah, if you've got a question in the comments, Tanya will look after you. Because sometimes when we're drawing, we can't help. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Whoa, look at that nice awesome top. Mm -hmm. Did you do the black bit in the middle with the stick as well? I, I did it with a stick and then I just smudged it with my finger. Nice. Mm. I don't know how well it's... <laughs> Nothing very exciting. My masterpiece. Yay. <laughs> so Lovely. I'm gonna grab um a cup to put my ink in. Yeah, okay. So we can do black as well. I'm just going down the comments. Whoa. <laughs> Oops. What are people saying? Uh, I don't know, I've gone and um uh oh there we are. Somebody said they're using twiglets. I messed up my screen for a minute. Twiglets, that'd That's be good. good. An, <laughs> urban, an urban alternative to a stick. <laughs> hmm. so yes, somebody's there asking Tanya about how you find the course. If, if you go to our website, which is good ship the goodshipillustration.com, that's where you sign up. It is. And if you go forward slash freak flag it's there but also you can just it'll tell you on the page like the course is here mm. so it's all good <laughs> that yellow is so 50s it totally mm. is the yellow and black together it's so nice isn't it oh there's Which my says, mm, twiglets but twiglets are very dividing aren't they mm. i'm not a twiglet fan it's about the only thing i've ever won as well <laughs> i'm a raffle Massive Twiglet. bag of Twiglets. I don't like Twiglets. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Have you ever won hot dogs? They're always no, good. Never. What, in a tin? <laughs> yeah, like a tin of hot dogs. That's the classic mm. Tombola prize. Like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to get a fresh piece of paper for the next one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to treat myself. Jane Sunbeam's using a dried foxglove stem. And a mm. rose stalk and a tree root. Oh, oh that's a good idea. Mm. Jane always has the best sticks. <laughs> like exotic ones. Mm. Oh, right. Ah. I will timer. Uh, Where is it? Okay. Should we do a four minute? Yeah. Look, I spilled my paint at the solution. Uh, uh, oh, actually, we've got kitchen roll. I'm going to grab a piece. <laughs> it looks quite artistic, though. It's a nice splash. Isn't it? Mm, it's a good looking one. <laughs> okay. Hannah's asking how I put the yellow down. It's just a a kid's paint stick. It's it's like a lipstick. You roll it up, look, it's like a kind of oily I don't know what it's made of really. It feels like it feels like a lipstick, bright yellow. Yeah, they're sort of lipsticky in texture as well, aren't they? Mm, yeah, they are. It's really nice. Oh, Catherine Boyd won an empty Mr. Matey shampoo bottle in a tombola. <laughs> no oh. way. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the pit. An empty one. Do you know what, though? I love those Mr. Matey bottles so much that I'd have been happy with an empty one. The, yeah, they the were actually were legendary. So, <laughs> so good. Mm. There we go. Crisis averted. <laughs> I've got another drawing tool now. I've got a tissue. Yay! Tissue. Mm. Bonus. Wait. How long are we doing for this one again? Uh, should we do four minutes? Oh, yeah, four minutes sounds good. Yeah. All right. Long okay. One. Go. Go. <sighs> it's too much excitement. You've burnt your dinner. You've spilt your ring. <laughs> I know what's going on. Every other week I've thought you've fallen over and you haven't. I think it's the night tonight. 
<laughs> I know you're on the fall. floor. You're on the floor, but it's just one of those nights you're definitely going to have a fall. I was going to say, if I fall over <laughs> from sitting, <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to have a gin. I'm glad I didn't now. Yeah, I was going to have a drink and I forgot about it. But then Jerry's brought me a cup of tea, so that's good. That's good. I might have one after. A little, a little party. Um, for people who have already signed up for the course, um, you can still dip back in again. So if you do join, you're, you're, a, you're a lifetime member. When we say lifetime, we mean for as long as the course is available. We have no plans to take it down ever. But you have lifetime membership. And um, this time we've added to the course... We were asked all the time, Katie, weren't we, about if we could do a video on perspective and measuring, how to measure your drawing and get everything in the right proportion and that kind of thing. Yeah. So we're There's adding that. Exciting yeah. new videos about that. Yeah. So once you're a member, it's kind of like being a member of a, of, of a, a club where new stuff gets added all the time so every time we launch there's probably going to be something new each time last time we got the brilliant louise lockhart printed peanut she did a video for us last time didn't she it's amazing it was like four, oh. is it 40 minutes long or something it was a proper yeah. bumper edition oh it's so good and she shares so much about how she got started as an illustrator um yeah. and if you haven't oh, seen her work you should look it up because it's gorgeous it's like paper cut Lovely yeah. graphic shapes and her, like a, she does her own stationery and things, doesn't she? It's all so yeah. nice. It's really lovely. Yeah, and sometimes people say like, oh, if I'm not a children's book illustrator, is this all right for me? Or if I'm, I'm an animator or I'm a textile designer, there's so many different creatives inside the course. Yeah. It's, there's not like one specific illustrator that it's designed for it's for it's because i think finding your creative voice it's something that you need to do across the board whatever area of art you're in mm. it's something applicable to everybody isn't it and that's why we de we decided to do that as our first course isn't it because you me and tanya we'd all been through this hadn't we it was the thing that we had in common we'd all been through a period of finding out our own unique voice Totally. And also because all three of us work in different areas of illustration, it kind of made sense in it to make something yeah. that's all yeah. about. doesn't matter what part of illustration you're in, it's something everybody kind of has to do. Yeah. We've had lots of people as well who've um, taken a break from art. So maybe they went to art school and then they, they stopped to have children, they stopped working or they never got started after art school they had children or took another job for a while and then that's turned out to be more long term and so loads of people have done the course to get back into their art haven't they and some yeah. people have started to draw every day or they've built a new website or they've opened a shop Ooh, there we are time's on time's up yeah. Yeah. Ooh, i enjoyed that one me too i was getting right into that one oh. swivel you back up Ooh, stay. I'm determined not to have one of my falls. <laughs> I was drawing. It's a roller skates bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please put the roller skates on. Do you want to see them? <laughs> yes. Oh, because then I'll definitely fall. <laughs> Wait, let's see yours first and then I'll, go, I'll show you my oh, skates. Okay. Ooh, lovely. Look at that nice Horse, plant. Yellow cup. I keep meaning to ask you, Helen, what the name of that plant is that your mum gave me. Uh, oh. Um, Twiddly. Oh, Twiddly yeah. One. Hang on. Uh, I'll get my skates while you remember. Mum, are you in the comments? <laughs> <laughs> Look out for a comment from Black Eyed Susie. She'll tell us in a minute. Aeonium. 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 It's an Aeonium. Aeonium. Mm. Ooh, look at these. Woo! I could draw one, that's a good idea. 
I've been practicing Where in the living room. Skating? I just bought them this week. <laughs> Where do you plan using them? I was going to go along to Spittle Prom. Mm. I think it'll be fun. I'll come with you on my bike. <gasps> yeah, dude, that'll be fun. Yeah. But yeah, I texted my friends and they were like, are you having a midlife crisis? <laughs> are you I okay? I the idea of you roller skating down the prom. It's so brilliant. It's going to be so good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from France. So will the course be open to English non-native speakers? Well, it's in English, but we do have um, all the videos are transcribed inside the course, so you can get the words. So there's captions if that helps if you're not a native English speaker. Um, and you can put the transcript into Google Translate as well if that helps. So yes, but it's in English. Yeah. If that helps. Like Princess Di in the crown. Did she roller skate? Yes. Yeah. In the crown. Mm, yes. I don't remember that part. She gets on sort of all her lovely 1980s keep fit gear like leggings and stuff and roller skates. And she roller skates around the palace because she's kind of left in the palace by herself. I do remember that. I bet that's what like subconsciously influenced me. <laughs> and then Maybe. months later I bought my own pair. <laughs> <laughs> Influenced. I live in Germany. Ooh, hello, Marion sketches. Mm. There is a roller skating renaissance. I was getting all these reels of people roller skating. I was like, I want the pair. <laughs> did you used to roller skate when you were a kid? I did. Yeah. But it, it feels different as an adult. I think I was about 12 when I actually went roller skating. Mm. I never, I never got the hang of roller skates, and I can remember putting my roller skates on, and they were the kind that um, stretch longer to go over the top of your shoe, you know. Oh They've wow! Got like a yes, I remember them. The they, and they were leather, yeah. and they go over your shoe. And I used oh to God, stand so at cool. the top of the of the drive and just let gravity take me down to the bottom of the drive where I just hit the gate. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> roller sliding. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. <laughs> somebody said what's the name of the artist you mentioned just now maybe it was somebody else in the comments uh, maybe oh look Helen says hello it's 6 30 a.m in australia wow whoa always impressed by the australian people mm. somebody just said they missed the early bird call um yeah, if you email us, we might be able to sort something out. Yeah, we could. you could join us on the next early bird call, maybe. Yeah, because we don't record them because they've got everybody's face in them. Um, so that you've got to be there live or miss it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very strict. Okay. Right. Let's do more drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, six oh, yeah, minutes. You said the printed peanut. I think it was the printed peanut that we were talking about. Oh, Louise yeah. Lockhart. Louise Lockhart, printed peanut, yeah. Yeah, but printed peanut, her Instagram right? name. There are loads more artists in the course. Let me think. We've got Marion Dukas, whose work's amazing. She works right across the industry on all sorts of different illustrations. Oh, there we are. Somebody else has just joined. Hello, hey. S. Jones. Um, uh, we've got uh, Chris Horton, who makes lots of amazing picture books. We've got Johnny Hanna, who is a general illustrator working. Oh, how do you describe Johnny Hanna? He's incredible, isn't he? He's amazing. He did stamps. That's I'm always really impressed that he did Royal Mail collectible stamps. I'm like, mm. celebrity. Mm. I've got one of his pictures on the wall, actually. Oh, yeah, get that out. That'll give people an idea. Mm. How this cool. is who Johnny Hanna is. Yeah. Mm. Northumberland Folk on Instagram. Uh, who else have we got? We've got... We've got... Oh, we've um... got Shin, who's a Japanese sketchbooker who shows us through his sketchbooks. In fact, we've got quite a lot of sketchbook videos in there, haven't we? We've got Chris Horton, the picture book yep. illustrator. He does a nice yeah. talk about colour mm -hmm. and how he works. And then there's us, of course, as well. <laughs> <laughs> Al, yes, Al Martin. Oh, Alan Martin, yeah, who's the creator of Tank Girl. That's very cool. Yeah. There's always people like, oh, my goodness, Tank Girl. I yeah. Tank Girl. I know, it's brilliant. Wasn't there it? somebody said they'd given birth wearing a Tank Girl t-shirt? They were like a super fan. It might have been Rebecca Green who said that. I've forgotten now. Who was it? Yes, yeah, somebody gave birth wearing their Tango t-shirt. That is that is just the coolest thing to wear to give birth, isn't it? Hardcore. Mm. 
tell you where the names go <laughs> later. Or they're on the, if you go to the goodshipillustration.com forward slash freak flag, all the names of these magical people are on that page. So in fact, there's, um, there's all sorts about the course on there. Oh, there's Ralph, Ralphie W telling us Jerry. Yeah, my partner oh, yeah. Jerry, who's a natural history illustrator. There's a video a tour through his sketchbooks as well. That's brilliant. The sketchbooks are gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Ralph. Ralph mm -hmm. is saying that the course is brilliant. So, Ralph, we, we always talk about Ralph because he he hadn't drawn since he was 11, had he? And then when lockdown started, he started to draw. And then we launched a course for the first time. And he signed up, having not drawn since he was 11. And now he's just prolific. He's drawing every day. His drawings are incredible. Um, he's learning to do screen printing. It's brilliant. And yeah. his brother's done the course as well. He's probably... Yes, the whole tonight. family. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Fitz Deluxe played a gig wearing a Tank Girl t-shirt. See, it's oh, so cool. I'll have to tell Alan. <laughs> Cult following. Brilliant. Should we do another drawing? Yeah, let's do another one. Did we, just do, six... draw these. Did we just do a six minute or a four minute? I've forgotten. Uh, Should we do a I think one? it was four minutes. Should we do a six one? Yeah, let's do a six one. Okay. Are you ready? Ooh. Go. Yes. Oh, you're not yeah, ready. Money. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> I was born ready. <laughs> Are you getting your roller skates on? I'm drawing them. Not wearing them. <laughs> oh, somebody else has just signed up. Hooray! Yay. I didn't catch who it was, but somebody else. That's good. Welcome aboard. Yeah, and when you join, the, the course doesn't start until Monday the 22nd, but you get to join the Facebook group and other exciting things and if you're going to be busy then because i know half term is probably happening although all our kids are homeschooling anyway so it doesn't make much difference but um you can go at your own pace on the course so it's going to arrive in your inbox on the 22nd, the 22nd when it it arrives on your in, in your inbox on the 22nd but if you can't manage it then that's fine because you can just do it at your own pace you can catch up later. You don't have to do it all in time with everybody else. Yeah, go whatever speed is good for you. Yeah. My blooming phone fell down, Helen, but it's good because you Not didn't again. notice. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody tell Helen that my phone fell. <laughs> oh, I'm going to. Oh, look. Lauren Davo Davo has just joined. Hello, Lauren. I wouldn't have hey. seen that if my phone hadn't collapsed. How long are the doors open for, says Jane? They're open till Art Club next week. So they're, they're open either until we reach capacity or until Art Club next week. We close them at the end of Art Club. Oh, somebody else has joined. Way. Hey. But if you join this weekend, you're an early bird and you get the special Zoom draw along. So it's worth yeah. doing it. Yeah, it's one of those things, if you know you want to join, you might as well hop straight in and get the bonus. Mm. I love drawing with a stick. It's, best thing. it's really pleasing, isn't it? Yeah, it just does what it wants. In my new book, I did lots of drawing with stick in my new book. That's so cool. I usually use a dip pen, but I went, I wanted bigger close-ups. Um, and my dip pen just wasn't thick enough. So I went for a stick this time. Nice. Yeah. Is this for the owl one? Yeah. Yeah. That's like extra appropriate as well, isn't it? It's like using bits of the house. Yeah, exactly. Draw with. <laughs> We've got nearly three minutes left. Oh, good. Oh, 
Oh, there's Tamar Balak Jian just joined. Hooray! Welcome. And we've had people join the course who are, oh, there she is, she's just being on my phone. We've Yay. had people join the course who, like, like, um, Ralphie W I was talking about there who hasn't drawn since he was 11 and we've had people like we've had a few really established picture book makers join the course just because it's always nice to keep learning even if you're really established and you've been out there a long time maybe you've worked in the industry a long time it's still really nice to keep learning isn't it absolutely and even yeah. just having sort of like a, a nice group of people to connect with especially yeah. during lockdown when we're all kind of doing our own thing even more so than usual because illustrators are kind of hermity anyway <laughs> it's been yeah even more with everything that's been going on yeah but yeah every every time we open the course i'm amazed there's always some kind of people that you're like whoa they're doing the course what yeah i know jill calder who's here tonight that was we were so excited when we saw that she joined us and that was so lovely to have her aboard and there was uh sarah dyer who's a brilliant picture book maker and emily mckenzie lots yeah. of picture book people rebecca green as well that was an exciting one. Oh yeah she lives in japan Very lovely nice. work. so yeah we have people who are kind of not drawn for years and years and years they were good at it school and they want to get back into it right through to establish people because um finding your own voice is just it can go on forever finding your own voice you like it can happen at any stage that you feel you've got a bit lost and you want to get back on track again or absolutely you, know. well, you might be um illustrating and kind of getting by but just not totally happy with the work that you're making yeah and then it can be a really nice opportunity to kind of take a step back and look at what you're doing and think consciously about it rather than just getting swept up in like oh people are paying me to do this I might as well carry on that's it I think sometimes when you're working to brief so for a long time and you've got deadline after deadline you suddenly realize you've gone off track and you're not the person that you thought you were it's not in your work anymore and mm. it can be hard to get back oh there we are with somebody else as well oh. <laughs> oh, Lucia yeah. Barra. that's a good name oh. Oh, this is making me want to go roller skating. <laughs> I wish it wasn't snowy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's going to melt this weekend. You might be out roller skating by Sunday. My fingers are crossed. I was pushing mm -hmm. the stand up for it. Oh, it's all a bit nice funny. Inky lines. Mm. <laughs> Pleasing. It's got that nice scratchiness. Mm. There's a good roller. Hey, I love that roller skate drawing. That's brilliant. Nice and wonky. It. Narrative spaces. How frequently are the sessions over the six weeks? Once a week um, are the lives. And the lives are all recorded because people are all over the world. So don't panic if you can't make it live because it, we upload it as soon as we can. Definitely within two days, but usually not sooner than that. Yeah, if you can't make it, you can email us your question. Um, any time during the week leading up to the Zoom call. If you know you're not going to be there, just send us the questions. We'll answer them in the Zoom call and then you can catch up with the Zoom call later after we've, after we've recorded it. Yeah. Somebody said, how much is Art Club? Art Club's free. <laughs> this is free. We're always yeah. here. Regardless whether the course is running, we're always here for Art Club. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was asking, and we put a, a box in our story saying, if you've got any questions, let us know. And they were like, oh, if I can't join the course, if I can't afford it right now, is Art Club still going to be here? And yes, Art Club's mm -hmm. here. In fact, if you do the course, we encourage you to come to Art Club as well, because it's, it's totally separate. Like, we don't do Art yeah. Club inside the course. This is Art Club. Yeah. It's a good extra thing. Yeah. Well, there's Tanya Willis telling everybody, the, price, the course costs £375. That's lifetime membership, part of the community... The course that you can go in at your own pace and you can dip into for years to come and we'll keep adding stuff to it you don't ever pay extra when we add new stuff to the course and you can pay that in three installments so that's only 125 pounds per yeah. month yeah we don't charge you extra to pay in installments it's the same yeah. price yeah and then that's it you're in forever and you get all the new stuff we add you get that as well is that krista ray said that she fiddled too much after the timer and ruined it that's a common error. 
<laughs> you need to have a word with yourself. Yeah, that's no good. I'm going to point my, my telling off finger. No, 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 no fiddling, <laughs> no fiddling. Whatever style says, if they've done the course before, do we have to sign up again to get the bonus Zoom? You, as long as you didn't unsubscribe for the, from the emails, you'll get the emails about the Zoom calls. Yeah. Oh, oh somebody else just joined. after the time. Oh, is that the one you read out? Oh, it must be. Yeah. Lucia, Can't wait to start. Lucia. Just joined with three instalments. Hooray! Welcome, Hi, Lucia. Lucia. Hey. So good. I'm going to go back to using my blue paint for the next one. Okay. And my the other end of my stick. Shall we do an eight minute one? Ooh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, look, there's Oleander Wren, who is joining again for the third time. So she must have joined a couple of sessions ago. Brilliant. That's mm -hmm. nice. Freak flag yeah. is amazing. I keep going back again and again. That's nice to hear. Yeah, and Tamar's yeah. just joined. Welcome, Tamar. You're going to love it. I can't wait to get started. Yeah, me too. For that first Zoom call where we meet everybody, it's so exciting, isn't it? Yes, it's always the best. <gasps> okay, what am I going to draw now? Right, okay. Eight minutes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. I'm drawing the doll that looks like your niece, Stella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the good cheeks. Yeah. You know, I feel like it was just Friday, re really recently. I know, it's so weird how the time flies, isn't it? It's bizarre. We still have no heating in our house yet. It's coming no. very soon. When are you getting yeah. the heating? Is it next week? Um, Monday, so we've got to do some, we've got to take bath panels off and all, a major clear up to make room for them to get in. Oh, it's a really long, boring story. I won't go into it too much, but <laughs> we have to have all the pipes in the house moved to the other side of the house and we've got, oh, it's too boring. I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested though, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds upheavally yeah it will be good when it's done yes that's... but we have we've we had ice inside the windows the other day it was so pretty so i need to have a word with them about not making the heating too efficient because i really like the ice inside <laughs> the windows <laughs> yeah make sure you tell them <laughs> in winter please let it stay at minus whatever yeah. degrees it is yeah can you make it rubbish heating, please? <laughs> Yours is making good noise, your stick. Yeah, I'm doing blobby things.
Yeah, that aeonium that my mum gave you, Katie. Oh, you yeah. You chop bits off it, and then you have to leave it overnight to so, so that the kind of wound where you've cut it dries overnight. Yeah. And then you just push it into some soil, compost, whatever, and it starts growing. And the bit where you chopped it off, that sprouts new bits as well. It's magic. No way. Yeah. I'm totally going to do Ooh. that. It's, it's really happy on the kitchen window, so... Oh, well, that's good. It's lovely. I think we just had somebody else join there. Woohoo! Welcome, whoever you are. We've just set it up so that, because it used to be that it was only PayPal, um, but now we've got, you can just pay with a card without going near PayPal now, which is very exciting. Well, it's yeah. not actually very exciting, it's probably very boring <laughs> if, you're not, <laughs> if you're not selling a course, but I was. But if you haven't got PayPal, lots of people were resistant to PayPal, so it's nice to have another option, isn't it? Yeah, and even though it was like, it wasn't actually paying with PayPal, it looked like PayPal, so people were like, I don't want to use PayPal, so. Yeah. Hopefully that's all a thing of the past. We've still got three minutes, just over three minutes. Oh, I think I might be on the, at a risk of faffing. Uh-oh noodling perhaps no noodling no noodling oh yes yeah, thank you Tanya it was nice tissue texture oh that is nice Katie I like all your little dots yeah I'm doing like a straw basket thing yeah living room has just become a dumping ground for random objects. We're not decorating or anything and ours is anyway. Always is. <laughs> <laughs> I just got in the habit of like putting things down and being like, oh well, <laughs> that's where it goes now. <laughs> <laughs> and now that nobody ever, ever comes in the house, we never have a deadline to tidy up either. So it's just... That's what it is, time. isn't it? Because there's no like external pressure. Yeah. My phone just went beep. I think we've had another person. Ooh, I was thinking the email's probably going out. The official doors are now open email, so that'll be ah. alerting people. Because yeah, normally we just leave it right till the end of our club but this time we thought let's just let you yeah let you go in we've got a minute 25 seconds left Tanya says she loves that nobody can come and see her messy house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're living the dream, really. Yeah. My mum said she was living like a toddler and just leaving things lying around. We're kind of like that anyway. A lot <laughs> of us are very tidy in our house, but it is definitely worse than usual. <laughs> the lockdown effect. Yeah. Uh oh, do like you knock the clutter. ink over? Hope I really okay. like a bit of clutter. I get really uncomfortable in a house that's too tidy. Yeah. Yeah, I really like a bit of clutter around. Feels homely. Oh, we've only got five seconds left and I haven't drawn the rest of my van. Yes. Get Back done. Woohoo. Managed it. Managed it. Phew. Saved by the bell. Oh, that was really good fun. I enjoyed that one. Oh, it was a good one. Let's see. Oh, look, there's Lucy Carruthers just joined. Hello, Lucy. My bag. Oh, look at that. That doll does look just like my niece. 
I bet she looks just like you when you were little. Yeah, it's like we're all just clones of each other. <laughs> Let's see yours. Le basket. <laughs> oh, it's dribbled. Oh. Ah. I've been practicing my French after watching that call my agent. Yeah, I keep slipping into fake French with a Darlington accent all the time. I can't resist it. I'm so addicted to call my agent. I'm almost at the end of it now. I've got the last series left to watch. I'm going to miss it so much. I love it. It is so good. Yeah. We're only on like the... I think we've only watched one episode, but it's already so good. Yeah, it is. It's brilliant. Egg bomb, egg, egg tidy house. Tidy house, something to hide. Yeah, I saw that. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Finally oh. tried Helen's toilet roll technique. Definitely helped with the shading on this one. Toilet roll is just the best equipment. You don't need to buy fancy paintbrushes if you've got a bit of toilet roll. You should copyright that as well. That could be your second million dollar idea. You've got the an ink so yeah. tips, a bit of card and the toilet paper. I just start having it manufactured with a with a wrap around that says art toilet paper and sell Perfect. it in art shops. Stevens premium art <laughs> bog roll. <laughs> <laughs> Holly's drawn a superb owl. Oh, good. Exciting. Mm. Oh, Tracy Aitken is enjoying Call My Agent as well. Yeah. Anyone watched Lupin? No. But I know about, how do I know about that? What do you think about? Is it on Netflix? Maybe I've just seen it. Mm. Is it no, good, I'm Jill? Sure. It must be if Jill's recommending it. <laughs> how many people can come into the course? Well, excuse me, stuffing my face with a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> Peanuts. When we feel we've reached capacity, when we feel it's just overwhelming, we'll close the doors. Um, yeah, we don't have an exact figure. It, it's when we go, eh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and we won't close yeah. the doors before the early bird's gone away. Yeah, we definitely won't close it before the weekend. Hopefully they'll be open till next Friday, but, you know, just yeah. in case it gets too much. Mm. Narrative space is partway through looping. Mm. Must be good then. Or maybe I'll go from Call My Agent to Lupin then. You've got to have something else lined up. Oh yeah, Derry Girls. Oh, we watched that. That's so good. Have you seen it? I've seen a bit of it and really enjoyed it, but um, I can't watch it while Pi's around because it's, oh, yeah, it's not a bit rude, appropriate, it? I think. So yeah. yeah, I need to find a time. Hey. Um, Katie, we've only got seven minutes left. Oh my god. Okay, How let's do some happen? more drawing. Shall oh, we do somebody's talking quick... about Motherland there as well. Motherland, that's incredible as well. I love that. Oh, oh that's Janine. Not seen Motherland. Motherland. Mm. Oh. Mm. Um, should we do a quick one and then a 10 second stick animal? Yes, let's do that. Okay. So yeah. should we do a three minute? Should we do a three minute stick and then animals? Yeah. Okay. I had some kind of flash my bum there. I've got, I've got a skirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Please disregard. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm Go. ready. I'm going to use my left hand as well. Oh, I'm, I'm oh. joining you on that. I'm going to do that too. Oh yeah. Oh, that is lo It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> no control whatsoever. And a stick. Hooray! That's great. Yeah. Doing that. Done this earlier, this is brilliant. Yeah, maybe one week we could just combine absolutely everything we've ever done. Yeah, negative on space blind under a box. Yeah, on your head, yeah. I'd like to combine on your head with a sponge, that would be good. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> ink dribbling around your face. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, and then I thought about it. I was like, oh wait, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> oh, my paper's wiggling around. 
My drawing's very odd. Mine too. I've done some dodgy measuring. Never mind. Uh, we haven't done self portraits in a while, have we? Ooh, we haven't. We should do that soon. I love doing self portraits. It's really good, especially when we I... do the one where you pull a face. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. I love seeing everybody's as well. I think that's a funny way to see who everybody all is. Yeah, I think the times we've done portraits is when we've had the most people share their work the next day. I think people seem to really love doing portraits. We've had absolute yeah. bumper weekends after that, haven't we, on the Good Ship Hillow hashtag. Tons and tons well, of stuff to share. And it's brilliant. I think because everyone's kind of laughing at their own face. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, look how silly I look. It's brilliant. <laughs> Stick drawn portraits, says Claire. That's a very good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, there we are. Time's oh. up. Time's up. Oh. Oh, this is exciting. This is a good angle, Helen. I can see the table in the phone. <laughs> Oh, Felicity broke her stick. Were you con oh, concentrating no. really hard and like That's all right, Felic Felic Felicity. You've got two sticks now. <laughs> it oh, it's Stella. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a monster version. I've drawn her really big. Yeah, it's like um, is it Hulk or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, another person spilling their ink. There's a lot of that oh. happening. This doesn't really look like anything because it's a step ladder with a phone clip to it. <laughs> <laughs> I can work. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Brilliant. Abstract. Okay, so we can start shouting some animals out and we'll grab one. There's always a little delay between us yeah. and then you shouting them out. At the end of Art Club, we always draw a 10 second animal from memory. So Katie usually shouts out the name of an animal from the comments. And I just press start straight away before any of us get a chance to Google it and see what it looks like. Yeah. And you can there use your stick. some funny results. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The stoat was legendary. Oh, God. <laughs> Never forget the stoat. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a stick. <laughs> oh, Danielle Stacey's just joined. Hello, Danielle. Um... I saw a really good one. Narwhal. Narwhal? Go. Yeah. Narwhal. Oh, narwhal. Oh, that's off hell. I know what a narwhal is, Katie. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I think because Gary would be very sad Elf if he didn't. Bye bye, narwhal. There we are. Oh, what? Um... <sighs> Have you done it? Did it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yours is brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! That's so good. Yours is like a whale unicorn. It's basically a whale rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a unicorn. Not as glamorous. <sighs> Which crafty said the stoat haunts my dreams? Yeah, mine too. Jerry almost left me over that stoat drawing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you blame him? <laughs> oh dear. Have we got time for one more? We've got one minute. We could sneak in another one. Let's sneak in one last one. Shout one out. I see lots of people saying ox because of the Chinese New Year. Oh, yeah. Tanya had one at the early bird draw along. Should we try ox then? We'll try it. I feel like I still don't really know what one looks I... like. Oh, God, neither do I. I know they've got knobbly backbones and... Oh, no, I, I don't know what one... Oh, dear. <laughs> this is going very wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> Help. Oh god. Uh, Mine is really, really, really bad. 
it's not as bad as mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's like a white a wildebeest thing. I remember it's got knobbly bones on its back. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Year of the Ox, everyone. <laughs> Oh my god. Trust me, I'm a professional oh, artist. That's so good. <laughs> I think my brain thought about hippos. I think I it couldn't did. get that out. Or like I was like, it's like a cow. Anyway, the less said about Ooh. that, the better. Kevin has just joined the course. Hooray! Welcome aboard. Hey, brilliant. Yeah, when you join you get a special badge to share as well. So you can say, I'm in the Good Ship crew, and then we'll share them so you can see. It also helps because you can see who else has joined and become their friend. And be, yeah, like, exactly. you know, when you start school and you like grab somebody to be friends with, so like that. <laughs> it's brilliant how many friendships arise out of the course, though. It's lovely to see people have met up when we were out of lockdown briefly. People met up and went sketching together, didn't they? Yeah, was that in Edinburgh? Yeah. They did that. Mm, I think there's yeah. friends in California as well that meet up. Yeah, brilliant. Like Jamie and someone. Yeah. Oh, good. that's good. Oh. Uh -oh, so don't forget you... to share your work uh, hashtag goodshipillo and take a fo photo of the aftermath for hashtag art club aftermath yes because if it's anything like the mess that I have made it is a lot of mess <laughs> a lot of spilling Katie, ink we'll probably pop up during the week again won't we because we're going to come on one evening and answer all the questions about the course Yes, uh, we'll do a... I don't, a we haven't planned episode. what day that yet, but we'll be back midweek sometime. Yeah, it's usually the middle of the week. Um, yeah. So that would be nice. Yeah. yeah. If you've got questions, you can message us as well. Otherwise, we'll see you in the course. Yeah. Brilliant. Bye, Bye, Katie. Bye, Tanya. Bye-bye.